Um, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, if you guys know me, you know that I care a lot about kids. Um, I have been doing community work for about four years now, and I kind of wanted to hide. And then somebody told me, no, what you're doing is good. You let the world see this, and then they'll be willing to help you. And that has happened for me. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, Mr. Jimmy at the New Star World, who has provided these new newspaper dispensers for me, he has helped me um, tremendously. And he doesn't want any credit, but I'm giving it to him anyways. Um, he has been very flexible, very supportive. Um, I come from really good parents. And it takes a village to raise a child. And I had a village to help raise me. Um, aunts, uncles, older cousins, um, everybody. So I think that we should get back to doing that with the kids because times are different. But I don't like to blame kids for their behavioral problems or anything like that. That's on us because we are older. We have a responsibility to them. So if the ball is dropped, it's not because of them. It's because of us. So we have to get back to that old school way of taking everybody under our wings if it needs to be taken. Um, my friend Keisha, she did go take the mayor to see my little library that's in West Monroe in College Point. Um, so she actually helped me plant this seed and so did all of my friends. Um, they all hold the things that they want to see happen for me as if it were happening for them. Those are good friends and I have been blessed to have y'all. Um, my family... Like I said, my parents, they made sure that I stayed in summer programs when I was younger. My mom, my mother taught me to be on time for everything. Everybody knows that I'm early <laughs> for everything. Um, I have had a number of people donate books to me, people that I don't even know. I have five bins of books that's just sitting, waiting to be putting these dispensers and it has been a blessing. People have called me to come get these books. They've met me places. One of my friends have gone to library sales for me when I can't make it. And it's just been a whole number of people. So this is not just me. It's been so many people that has helped me. Um, the state of Louisiana is suffering. The children are suffering in the reading department. I know that we live in the age of technology, but a book could change them. It enhances your vocabulary. It makes you smarter. It teaches you to sit down and have patience. And I think that we should try and instill that. If you give them the electronics, give them 20 to 30 minutes on forcing them to read. It could change their life. I know for me, it has done a, a number of things for me. And so my entire reason for wanting to do this is to put books in the, the hands of children because I want them to read some of these stories about Bessie Coleman and Miss um, Fannie Lou Hamer and all these people who sacrifice for us. Um, I'm not sure if everybody knows who Nina Simone is, but she is my inspiration. I love that woman so much and she is the reason why I started doing what I was doing because she said that it compelled her to compel the people around her to want to do better and I wanted to do better so I want to shout out Nina Simone Nina. and I want to thank everybody for supporting me you guys have no idea what this means to me I'm, I'm just so blessed and I appreciate it thank y'all Thank you.